Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes, and we're here to play Jurassic Park for SNES. This is a great intro right here. Whoa! Great game company too. Jurassic Park. Awesome title. Amblin Universal. Welcome, Welcome to Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Now I remember this game uh, when I was younger. I remember playing this game, and this is actually one one of the few games that I did not beat as a kid. Very few games that I did not uh, beat. I played a lot of games. I beat a lot of them uh, back in the day when this system was the shizzle, and um, this game was actually very very difficult. But I enjoyed it because. It was just very immersive and it was Jurassic Park. That's just what it was. It was Jurassic Park and I loved it. I guess um, I just didn't understand like uh, the puzzles and the, you know, hunting for the eggs. Like, you know, it's basically like looking at it back, looking now, it kind of seems like he's Easter egg hunting kind of. <laughs> looking for eggs but back then I just didn't understand it you know well, I, I was a good game player but I wasn't that great I was basically I'll put all the games on on it <clears throat> and there's actually an NES version of this that is um um I didn't even know about when I was a, when I was a child because um when this game came out NES the original NES wasn't popular no more and, and people didn't they had it I know I didn't have mine um I think I sold it or something like that but anyway um, it wasn't popular no more and um just recently just two years ago I just found out they have an NES version of Jurassic Park that's pretty damn nifty it's pretty cool it's actually basically the same thing now this is one reason why I, lo I love this game back in the day because of this level these levels I mean. it makes you feel more immersed more engaged like doomish a nice 3d environment to interact in And see like these dinosaurs, they kind of seem like they're just kind of like statues just sitting there. Just standing there, you know? Just spitting at you. But as you can tell, you know, um... This game was something back then, you know, it really was fun. And Jurassic Park back then, not only was the movie like a phenomenal movie and everybody loved it, I loved it. It made, I think that Jurassic Park actually made me um, love, you know, first start loving dinosaurs so much. I always, you know, acknowledged them and there was... Uh, the Land Before Time, obviously, but Jurassic Park was the one that really kind of uh, made me more interested in them, you know, realistically st uh, learn about them and everything. I love the toys, because the toys back then, they made them very, very realistic. I love those sounds, you know. And the music in this game also, I forgot to mention too. Um, at the very beginning of the game, 
the music is just awesome you know it's like a hip-hop beat like even back then when i was a kid the music in this game just kind of uh it just kind of uh, was surprising because you didn't expect that type of uh flavor to be in a game like this you just, you just thought it would be like just a typical theatrical instrumental music you know film music but no it, they took it to a different level and see what's kind of funny is that you know those raptors are coming out in the corner and you know it kind of it kind of seems funny because it kind of seems like they're just coming out for a nice walk you know they're not <laughs> They're not, you know, they're not out to do no trouble. They're just coming out and gonna go get some something to eat, and then this guy blasts them from the side of the head, you know. <laughs> this kind of looks like that sometimes. Most part of this game, um, I'm gonna stay quiet and just stay focused on playing. Because I do realize that um, um, I, did, I do speak too much. But also, I wanna also point out that Jurassic Park 4 is gonna come out. Jurassic World, I would say, is gonna come out and. Uh, or is out or I don't know, but it, it's it's gonna be it, it's it's basically it's gonna be in theaters, and uh, I just can't wait to see it. And uh, I hope that they I hope that they do a good job on it. I hope that they make it, um, you know, like you, you know, you know, like the, there's all these movies that they remade. You hope they would do a good job, and they're like lackluster. They they, they don't have the punch. You know, they just don't have that punch like they did when they first came out with it, when they originally came out. Like Ninja Turtles, you know, had a lot, a lot of CGI, great movie, but a lot of people saw it, they said that the original was better, because it just is, you know. I'm pretty sure Ninja Turtles are very, i never seen it, I haven't seen the new, nin, new age Ninja Turtles, new millennium Ninja Turtles. But I'm pretty sure it's okay. But I know the original is better, because it's just, uh... The original, and uh, they're in costumes, and they're more loving Ninja Turtles, you know, they're more cuter. And sorry for trailing off here, but uh, you know, Michael Bay is just like, he's just, you know. He just doesn't really care about what he's doing, he's just uh, trying to make money, I guess. You know, it's just a very sad era we live in because it was just, uh, you know, just leave the leave the good films alone, leave them alone. But anyways, this, and I love that part right there. So basically this game is... basically going around and looking for eggs looking for them Easter eggs this is the visitor center nice elevator purple walls and uh, speakers nice music and see they're just standing there Creepily standing there. I can't really remember. see now. You, you look around in this level. They have the couches, you know. They have the spinning uh, fans you see with the walls. You know that the computer thing. You know they did. They did. They really did a good job on it. You know. For that refrigerator right there. Now I'm just gonna use my robotic motion hand. The way it moves, all robotic. So.
And Joseph's Hornet weapon bomb shotgun thing whatever. Okay, so Oh the little cute dinosaurs. Oh and I suspect those are the dinosaurs that appear in part two of the movie that attacked the little girl. Those are little little bastards. Bastards. And see, in this game, you know, um, they make you go all over the island, all over. And it's in, in the film, they never really went all over the island, you know. Like, in pretty soon in this level, uh, I remember going into the Raptors. Uh, the the building where they held the raptors, where they the scene where they put the everyone knows they put the cow in, and the the raptors kill the cow, and then you know, you know they lower it in a thing. They, you actually go in that building that the raptors are kept in. So that's a, another level that I like besides this one because it shows the windows and it shows uh see it has a little plant there, see and a lamp. See it's very nice kept nice place you know they really thought it thought it through make it very homey very human but anyways they, they have windows in that place that shows the plants on the outside so that's when I was a, you know you, as, as, a, as a gamer as an old style gamer you appreciate those little things you know little nuances to make it more realistic See that guy's just walking back and forth, exercising, he gets shot. That ain't right, that ain't right, but yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do. And then I say this game's gonna be a long, yeah, it's gonna be a long game. It's been a while since I played this game. I played it a few times before we started recording for an upload. So, uh, this game is going to be a little bit long. It's going to be an hour. Or just about an hour. So sit tight. And don't worry, I won't be talking too much. We should be going into a room, a dark room. I always, you know, when I was a kid, I was always like, ooh, what's in there, you know? As a kid, you know, uh. But without the goggles, you get killed like almost instantly. So, like, you know, that's one little element that they added to it. Cross the river with this metal bridge thing. Um. 
Those are nice little elements right there with the rocks falling down. Found another east egg. And Jeff Goldblum, you know, you just saw him right there in that car thing. Jeff Goldblum is a real good actor. He did a real good job on the Jurassic Park film. And here we are inside the raptor cage building thing. Enclosure, whatever it is. This right here, this level epitomized the whole reason why you want to be 3D. You know, see those windows there? That right there, I think, is for the raptors, you know, in the center of the whole thing. But this level seemed to me the one thing that really epitomized um, the whole reason why they made a 3D, um, the, the 3D experience in this game was this level. To me, this, this level really epitomizes that. That whole reason to view the level in 3D. Just so much detail on the walls. And then why do they explode? Like, are they animatronics? Are they real? Are they, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's a little funny thing, you know. that one got ID that's a big old damn ID it's like a poster it's like a folder it's like as big as a damn folder They did a great job on the artwork of those windows though. I can't say enough about the windows. Whoa, hey, how are you doing? And pieces of meat. That's one thing about games. Like in Castlevania, practically all the Castlevanias, you, you hit a wall, you hit a brick wall, and then there's like a piece of meat or a chicken or a beef with a bone in it, and it's like, why would you eat something like that, you know? But that's that's a lot, that's game logic for you, you know? In real life, though, that shit would be all dusty, sorry for cursing, It'd be all dusty and all stony and all webby and all disgusting see he's all doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, got shot That disgusting black tar that they shot at that one overweight scientist guy that was stealing the 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 eggs or the the little vials of the of the DNA of the dinosaurs or whatever they were. You know, it's like it was like a big old black blob, black stinky, sticky tar, you know.
Very nice elevator music. And the way they just get shot and like, doo -doo. Looks kind of funny. Just all poof. Just staring at you. He's looking at you creepily. Nice piece of chicken. Dirty, grungy ass and on the floor chicken. Hey! Don't be spitting at me. Oh! So someone's hitting me behind you? What, what the hell? Did I... Now we're going to go back to this location with the nice hip hop good music. Get that wasp bomb projectile thing. Unless it's like sparkle or something like that, you know? With those goggles he's got on. But then there's a military kind, so it doesn't have that. So this is never mind. Hey there! Boom! Gotcha! Right back outside. At least they have the map there. It looks exactly the same like it did in the movie. Gotcha. Mm.
and I, I, w I always appreciate like um because as a kid it's kind of like wow like how can they shove all this detail into the game what more areas can i explore you know like a kid you're always very um you're always very mindful of like what what more can they do you know especially with a game like this back in the day it was like, it really was a really cool cool game to play and just the fact that they put in those gallimimuses you know walking you know like a flock or whatever running in the like as you saw that was just a little um treat you know because it's just like it really is it really was cool like it just looks good because they put a lot of effort into really making it uh very immense you know Oh, oh, I right, got you. Uh. Who else wants it? Let's see, if I turn right and left, I will see. There, yeah. I ain't doing there. Gotcha. Uh, so, darkness. Damn. He was waiting for me. Uh. Yeah, you just don't understand. I'm really, really having fun playing this game. This is a real fun, fun game to play. And I just recently just, you know, like I said, before I started recording, I made sure that I knew where I was going, what I needed to do, and made sure I would beat the game. Let's go up here. And the way they make the trees and the leaves, you know, they really, oh, he turned over. That's the way they should die. They shouldn't explode. But anyways, the, the trees and leaves and all that, they really did follow the movies, uh, props, you know, and the real plant life of Jurassic Park, the film. I'm gonna try to make some character voices. One of these, one of these uh, 
full gameplays. Super Mario, Arnold, who knows? I'm doing very well, I have not died. Got another easy egg. Lots of terrain. So now this little right here is another another example of why they would specifically use these levels. This 3D type of uh, element for this game, because of just how they the the wall mapping and all that, and just the colors and everything. Looks real, real great. See that little shrub right there? Looks real, real nice. The life preservers. Nice golden color. <clears throat> I fell down like a domino set, those dinosaurs. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. It looks like the Hellraiser lives here or something with his chains hanging down. Thank <laughs> you. 
underwater submarine. That's what it looks like. Looking out those circle windows. Oh, they didn't even see it coming. Why, hello there, son. How do you do? Why? Why? Guys, son, you bother me. That wasn't that good. There's what I'm looking for. No more gray elevators for us. Looks very creepy and green. I just love, love this game, and I love this level. I love it all, all of it. Love it. Look at those spotlights on the floor. Look, look how cool that looks. I don't know about you, but I love it. I love it all. Dang, never I love it all. They may stampede, huh? Back at the visitors. Center.
calibrator room. Shotgun ammunition. Oh! I don't know, but at that moment, that raptor kind of looks somewhat familiar. I can't put my finger on it. <sighs> kind of like a singer or something like that. I'm going to forget about that. What does it look like? Lionel Richie. <laughs> That's what he looked like. Lionel Richie. For a moment, he looked like Lionel Richie. With the Jerry Curl and all that. Back outside. I always like the way he walked. Had kind of like a little wobble to him. Like one of the characters from The Simpsons. He was only used for one episode. He was delivering the mail. Burns. Now see? Right there. That's awesome greenery right there. The raptor greenery. Anyways, uh, The Simpsons were, um, Burns gives a letter to, uh, Homer Simpson to deliver it immediately. And there's a sequence where he hands out to someone and this one person hands out to someone and that person hands it off to this person who, like, when he walks, it's a, it's a fat guy with a mustache, looks like he's from the 1930s or 50s, and he's all, like, doing a little, uh, penguin wobble, you know, just kind of like how... Grant in this game does when he walks he has like a little penguin wobble to his little penguin stride strut, you know Just a little bit uh, humorous So we're trying to get our asses out of here. That's what we're trying to do. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That place was exactly where the beginning of Jurassic Park started when they're trying to put that, that raptor in that place, in that enclosure, and that person gets killed. Oh, 
Oh, I got came out of nowhere. I don't remember these mountains in uh, the movie. Unless I'm mistaken, I have to watch it again. Maybe in the far distance there was mountains like this in the film. Gotcha. So many elevators. See, I told you I was going to be quiet. Pizza, that's what it looks like. With the ID. Ah, oh, nice bedroom. Six dinos left. Five dinos. <clears throat> now that's extermination. Rocket launcher in your face. Thank <laughs> you. 
Zero diners left. Good job. Great job. What was that great job? From Earthworm Jim when that cow says great job or good job or I don't know. Finally, they're free. No more dinos. Exit. Wobble, 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 wobble.
Good thing I had that rocket launcher. That's a big ol' ugly bug. Trying to get all the eggs. Five more left. Get up, get up on those weapons. There was lots of other uh, great games that were from, uh, great and not so great games that were from you know, from, uh, they actually made a game from uh, um, Indiana Jones, the ones for NES and SNES, I think it was, I think they did, um, they were not that good, they had Judge Dredd, they had, um, they had um, um, Alien, which was a real good game, uh, 007, some of the 007s for NES and for SNES kind of were not that really good some of them were okay they even had this uh, fish 007 type of knockoff which was a crappy game but uh, you know not all the games they make for from movies are that good but this one is an exception because it's uh, really well done beautiful gallon my messes Jumping, jumping over. So we're gonna get 
far as we can. Although I did like Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic Park 3 was very good, it was a very good film. But it wasn't um, that well made. This game, you'll find out very soon that uh, it's not as uh, difficult or as long. Um, the environments do have limitations obviously because it's SNES. But the game is very well made and it's uh, very well crafted. T-Rex, oh that's not good. Get some more bowling balls. Whoa. Raptors come out at night. I don't think I've ever been inside there. Two more left. Oh wait a minute, yeah, I yeah. am. go I remember this part now this is um braid jogging my mind now this level looks very ominous and very creepy because though it actually looks like how it should you know very structured brick wall type of uh, environment so the 16 bit three-dimensional environment actually fits this uh, particular level So you know, this this place gave me kind of creeps, you know. I'm getting out of here. Right when you're coming to it, it closes on you. Oh. 
<clears throat> One more time on top of this damn hill again. These all, all these mountains look all the same. But actually, I really do miss this era's uh, graphics. I miss the Donkey Kong Country. I miss uh, whoa, what the hell? I can't get it. I miss um, uh, Super Mario World. I miss uh, even Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, I miss all those games. One thing that I remember from uh, going to my friend's house, uh, going to my friend's friend's house, and he had a Sega Genesis. I never seen one before. And then when I saw it, he had a big old damn. I remember the Sega Genesis. One thing that really stood out in my mind was that the Sega Genesis had a big old um, large battery charger. For the to charge the um, the system, you know the the plug, you know, and it was like a big old block. And I remember looking at that and saying, "Whoa, that's pretty big." And everybody and the guys that are playing the game, they're like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. So like that's one thing that even back then, even back then, uh, <clears throat> you know, like certain things that you know, um, if things didn't seem right they stood out you know or things kind of seem off they stood out and even when people perceive them now back then people perceived them the same way Now we should be nearing the end very soon in this game. I would just like to say that before this game ends, which we still got a little bit more, if I could just level, if I remember, remember correctly, that this game is a very well made, well produced game from legendary director Steven Spielberg. Awesome animatronics, awesome film, awesome CGI. Back in the 90s, there was nothing like that. You have to understand that Jurassic Park and Terminator 2, those were the only damn movies that had that type of badass shiz in it. Jurassic Park was a masterpiece. This game, within, its f um, within itself, is a masterpiece. Because it's from an iconic film. And uh, I can say that very fondly that I'm very happy to be born in the 90s and to experience such great things. You know, um, it wasn't always great, but when things were great, they were great. They were fantastic. Except for when the new millennium was rolling around, that's when things got kind of crappy a little bit. But there was plenty of talent still. Films, shows, writing scripts, um, I, I believe in musicals, books, music, everything. So everything was good, games were good, at, at a great time, you know, um, especially video games. Looking back on it, Mega Man X, I loved Mega Man X. That was the best Mega Mans of all the Mega Mans. A lot of attitude, a lot of style. Um, Freddy Krueger, the movie. I I'm just bouncing around from game to movies, music. I'm just bouncing around everything that I love. So, like Freddy Krueger, wrestling, uh, all those great things, you know, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, you name it, you know, like everything back then was so dynamic. And it's so sad that now those things are just dwindled to nothing almost, you know. 
WWE just needs to go away and like restart. It literally does. It needs to just die and then come back again, reincarnated new and better. Create new nostalgia, you know? That's what they need to do, you know? And that's the same thing with filmmaking too, you know? Stop remaking and start doing something original. Create some new, new nostalgia. You can do it, we can. We just can't be afraid to go to new places, that's the thing. animation in the game is very well done. The colors, the rich colors, rich environments, interactions. Here we are. It's lifting off from that map. From that title screen. Congratulations, you have escaped the Jurassic Park. Now I'd like to thank everybody again for Checking out my full gameplay of Jurassic Park for SNES, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This is Richard Cespedes. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more uploads of games. I'm going to try to upload some uh, new games, um, modern games. But anyway, see you guys later. This is Richard Cespedes. Thank you for watching. God bless.